Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Good evening, Good evening teacher. Hello, what a pleasure hello. to see you. Hi. How are you? Hi. <laughs> okay. It's a great pleasure for me to see you once again. For me to have the opportunity to be here with you. So let me just get my background done. Good. Okay. So how are you, my dear students? How is everything in your lives? Very good. Yeah, I can see that you're yeah. very excited about the new programs that they are opening, right? Yes. <laughs> but it's very, very nice. It is very important that you continue learning English first, and then you can continue covering the different other programs that uh, Intaforp is offering. It is a great opportunity so everybody can actually continue developing uh, himself or herself. So in this case, I really motivate you to go and continue learning. You see, uh, imagine if we didn't have the pandemic or the COVID or anything, we might have had the opportunity to be in the classroom together, or we never know. Imagínense que no hubiera habido pandemia. Y ustedes dirían, ay, sí, pero es que ir hasta el salón de clases me quita mucho tiempo, el tráfico, esto, lo otro. Eh, podemos decir que la pandemia nos vino a beneficiar un montón con estas oportunidades de aprendizaje virtual. Y creo que a pesar de que pasamos las diferentes etapas de la pandemia, como el tiktoker, el cocinero, el panadero, el no sé qué, esto, esto, llegar a la etapa de la mejora continua creo que ha sido lo mejor que nos ha podido pasar. Okay, yes. so to be here, <clears throat> ¿Se, se imaginaron ustedes hace un año y medio que iban a estar aquí aprendiendo inglés conmigo? No. No, no, no right? No. Que iban, no. Que iban a estar aprendiendo inglés con un montón de teachers diferentes? No. No, no I never imagined. I never imagined that I was going to be here meeting amazing people exactly like you in this virtual reality. And so I think this is a very, very beautiful program that uh, you need to continue working on, okay? Yes. So just to start this, uh, this class, we are going to do a little activity, right? We're going to do a little activity on which I really need you to think, I need you to think about a, one object that you have near your house. Think about one object that you have there. Piensa en un objeto, cualquier objeto que tengan ahí cerca. Get one object. Telephone. Telephone. A any object, the cell phone, the Telephone. book. Telephone. Book. Telephone. Okay, the cell phone, the book, whatever. Mouse. The mouse. The mouse. Now, show me the object, show me the object. Show me one object. Show me. Show me. Okay, the mouse. the mouse. And I need you, I need you to create one sentence with the object. I need you to create one sentence with the object. I am going to use my bottle. And I will be like, eh, teacher Nati is very happy if she gets her bottle of water with her every day. Okay. Or teacher Nati always has her bottle of water with her. Or teacher Nati loves her bottle of water. Okay. I have three examples. Or I love my bottle of water. And I have a sentence. I need you to create one sentence with the object that you have there. So you say, I take notes in my notebook. I love my computer. I use my car. I don't know, to go to work. Any <clears throat> sentence. Santos, give me one sentence with your mouse. Okay. I need my mouse for computer. I need work. the mouse for computer work. Very good. Okay. 
We are going to give. Listen, we are going to give two claps for Santos. Okay, two claps. Very good. Only two. Okay. Hoy es tan caro. Hay que dar solo dos. Ana Maria, what is your object? Uh, my my book. Aha, give me one one sentence with your notebook. Uh, my book is needed in my class. Okay, my notebook, my notebook, my notebook is neat. My, not, my, my notebook is neat in my class. Okay, my notebook is neat in my class. Two claps for Ana Maria. <laughs> Only two. <Okay. laughs> Ciro, go ahead, give me your sentence and show me the object. Okay, it's my wallet. Your wallet, aha. Uh -huh. My wallet is very, very important because it's. I in this I get my car, my money. Much money. <laughs> A lot of money. A lot of money. <laughs> okay, my wallet is important because I get the money. Two clubs, four zero. There, good job. Only two, only two. San Carlos. <laughs> Jaime, show me your object in the sentence. Go ahead. Okay, teacher Nati, this is my pencil. It's necessary for me to write in my in my notebook. Okay. Uh -huh. the, the, the class. Okay. This is my pencil and it is necessary to write the class. Very good. Two claps for Jaime. Very nice. Nady, go ahead. Show me the object and give me the sentence. Nady. Okay. Nady, creo que se nos quedó. Okay. Oh, Nady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's there. The microphone, Nady. Nady Evis. Oh. Okay, Nady has difficulties to listen, she says. Okay, let's see. Uh, ah, okay, okay, don't worry, it's raining. It's okay, don't worry. Fatima Guadalupe, show me your object and your sentence. The microphone. The microphone, honey. Okay, we lost we lost the connection there. Okay. Let me see. Let's continue with Maria Delia. Uh, hello. Hi. This is my cell phone. I use it to receive the instruction to my work. Exactly, right? I use it to receive instructions to my work. Very good. Catherine Alejandra. Hello everybody. This Hello. Phone and I use for the homework for the call my mom and and I use a I And you use it right for important things. Very good. Alicia Guadalupe. Uh, this is my lamp. I use uh, my lamp um uh, for a student to study. But to, to study, to study. Okay. Uh, my lamb was a present. Okay, very good. Two claps for Maria Delia. Two claps for Catherine. And two claps for Alicia. Very good job. <laughs> Let's continue. And for Nady that it's raining in her house. <laughs> Claudia, go ahead. This is my mirror. Oh uh, yeah, your mirror, uh-huh. <laughs> and I use uh, every day I in use, the morning. I use my mirror every day in the morning. In the morning. Good, <laughs> claps for Claudia. Very nice. Rosa Maria, show me your object and the sentence. Okay. Uh, Como se dicen audífonos? Headphones or earphones. 
earphones, if they are like this, earphones, and headphones, if they are like this ones, okay? Yes. Earphones. Ah, okay. those, those are yes. ear, earbuds. Um, earbuds. No tienen cable, ¿verdad? No. Okay, so earbuds. I am going to send it on These the chat. These are my earbuds. Uh -huh. the, these are my earbuds. Mm -hmm. I need for the class and I listen music. Okay, I use them for the class and to listen to music. Very good job. The next one, Erasmo. Good evening. Hi. Um, uh, my group. Uh huh. Um, uh, my group. Uh, I need. I need to drink um, coffee. Okay, I I need my cup to drink coffee. Erasmo, it's so beautiful to see your face. <laughs> all the all the module, I saw your face like two times. But it's it's so great to see you, right? Me encanta verle, verle su carita, no solo el nombrecito. That's so so beautiful. Thank you very much. Two claps for Erasmo. Very good job. Rocío, go ahead. Rocío Hernández. This is a favorite toy of my baby. Mm -hmm. His name is Rodrigo. He is sleeping every night with them. Okay, Rodrigo sleeps every night with it. Very good job. Thank you. Two claps. Edwin, go ahead. Hey, I saw Edwin and I didn't see Edwin anymore. Where are you, Edwin? Te vimos como por medio segundo. Mr. Uh, hello. Hi. I have some problem with the internet. Okay, don't I worry. Put the video, but I don't know if you can listen. Yeah, I can listen to you. Yes. Okay. Uh, so uh, I have been lending the class, but I think we are talking about one object. Yes, one object, and you have to give me the sentence about the object. Okay. So I don't know if you can see, but here I have a, a bottle. Okay, we cannot see the bottle, but it's it's good. And I use it to drink water. Uh huh. I use it to drink water, right? Water, not other yeah. thing. Water. No, it's just water. <laughs> Okay, good, very good. Two claps for Edwin. Hey, there have you bottle. Very good, very good. Let's see, Mr. Oscar Guardado, go ahead. Mr. Oscar. Hi. Okay, go I ahead. Have a, I have a cell phone. I can show you because I have a problem with the camera. Don't worry, don't worry. I imagine but it. See, see, it's my cell phone. Uh -huh. I used to talk with with my family and my wife. Okay, I use it to talk with my family and my wife. You say very good. Two claps for Oscar. Very good, Oscar Lopez. Go ahead. Computer. Uh -huh, the computer. Give me the sentence with the computer. Uh, I need my computer uh, for receive my class of English. Very good. I need my computer too, right? I need to. I need my computer to receive the class of English or the English class. Walter Morang. Two claps for Oscar. Walter Morang, go ahead. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. It is my mouse and I use it to work on my PC. Very good, right? I use it to work on my PC or in my computer. Very good job, two claps my for computer. one. Okay. Very good. Let me see, Ana Lidia, go ahead. If not, Sandrita Olano, go ahead. There you go. Voy entrando, no le escuché bien que... Oh, okay, Sandrita, hello. You, uh, what we are going to do right now is that you have to show me one object and you have to tell me one sentence using the object. For example, I can show you uh, this one. It's a lipstick. And it says, 
I use the lipstick when I am going to go to a special party, for example. Any object that you have there, okay? Get it and I'm going to come back, okay? Prepara la oración y ya vuelvo. William Ernesto, go ahead. The microphone. Okay. This are my earphones and I used to hear my favorite music and to listen to my English class. Very good job. You use it to listen to your favorite music and the beautiful voice of your English teacher in the English class. Ah. <laughs> good, very good. Yeah. <laughs> Two claps for you. Go ahead. Very good. And then I was missing, oh, Sandrita, do you have the sentence? La en curva, la en curva. Okay, don't worry, prepare it, prepare it. Rosa Esmeralda, do you have your sentence? Uh, hi, teacher. I hi. miss my favorite music and to receive. To receive my class. Excellent, very good job, two claps, very good. And, Sandrita. Pobre Sandrita, la, la agarré ahí en curva. Ok, vamos, vamos a perdonar a Sandrita porque la agarramos ahí en frío. Es como que, hey, 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 yo llegando venía, ¿verdad? ¿Qué pasó? That's good. Well, uh, today it's a very nice day because uh, for sure we all finished the, the all the different things that you have to do in the platform, right? And uh, for sure today we need to go over a little bit of all the job and all the things that you did throughout the, the module, right? We started five different units, five different sections during uh, this month, right? It has been only one month, but we covered five different topics, right? We covered five different sections of a study. And I really need you to go over your, your notebook and remember a little bit of all the things that we did during this, uh, during this module that we had. Okay, in this one, right, for sure, I ask you a little bit of what we did in the previous class. This is our final class because tomorrow you have presentations. So we are not going to have like a big class. We are going to go over the last activities. We're going to have a little reading practice. That was the last one that we did uh, in the previous class, right? So I need two, well, three volunteers to do this little reading practice. Raise your hand. Hello, okay. me. Okay, I have Maria Delia, I have Rosa, and I have uh, Ciro and Edwin, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so Rosa Maria, can you help me to read, please, the first paragraph here? Okay. Go ahead. My name is Luke, and I'm 14. I live in Bridgetown. I have got a brother, Jack, and a sister. And Jack is the oldest, but I am, but I am the tall. The tallest, tall. right, the tallest. Ciro, continue with the next paragraph. Here. The microphone, honey. Sorry, sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. My, my father is a mechanic, I think. He's uh, uh, the best mechanic in the world. My mother working in a hospital. Very good job. Catherine, go ahead. Family is really great. My parents are very understanding and are always there when it is necessary. Very good job. Edwin, the next one. Here. <laughs> Sorry for the microphone. Don't uh, worry, don't worry. They are my best friend. So when I have a problem, they are my 
advisors. Very good job. Maria Delia, finish it. Okay. We talk about everything. There are not taboos uh -huh. among us. At weekends, we spend a lot of time together. Very good job. Two claps for my volunteers. Very good job. Good, very good. So, uh, yes, Rosa Esmeralda? Do you want to be the next one? Okay, Rosita had her hand up. So, uh, new words, new vocabulary, words that you don't know on the reading? No? Brighton. Brighton is the name of the city. Okay. Rosa Maria, question? Ah, advisors. Advisors is when a person gives you a piece of advice, consejeros, right? So parents are always the best advisors. Antes de ir a buscar un consejo a otro lado, búsquelo con sus papás. Yes. Right? Among us. Among us. There are no taboos among us. Among us is entre nosotros. That's why the game, it's called Among Us. Mm -hmm. Among us. It's not Among Us, okay? Among, among Us, no. It's Among Us, okay? okay thank you. Among Us. Vamos a ver quién es el, el... What is the name of the, of the, of the game? ¿Quién es el...? Impostor. El impostor. Ah, you see, you know, but... <laughs> the child. <laughs> who, is the, who is the intruder, right? Yes. Among us. Okay, good. So no. these, these took us to the last part of our platform that was about families, right? The changing family on which many people were doing different jobs. Do you remember this reading? Right, the reading about the changing family on which they were doing different jobs. And you were talking about Emily, Ben, Josh, and Steve. Steve. And Steve, right? We were doing this. So there was this was basically the last part of our platform. What are we going to do tomorrow? Right? Remember that we need to finish everything. And you need to prepare a final presentation. Tomorrow, you are going to have a final presentation about what I explained you uh, before, right? You are going to tell me how did you feel during the module? What did you like the most? What was the most difficult part? And for sure, what did you like the most? And what are you expecting for the next one, right? It is going to be about one or two minutes, the final evaluation, right? That's a final presentation that you are going to make for the class and try to use as much vocabulary as possible okay so that is going to be tomorrow at the end of the class so one of the last things that we are going to do right now is to give a quick tour in the platform right we are going to go and visit our friend the platform here there we go. Okay. Uh -huh. ¿Reconocen este lugar donde andamos? Yes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, the platform. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. My I friend. Have just finish it. Okay. You say, my friend, the platform. You say, my friend, the platform. Okay. I think everybody finished the platform with 100%. That's what I expect and that's what I hope, right? Creo que todos lo terminaron al 100%, yeah? Nadie se me quedó ahí en medias. Okay, so the idea is that one. And we're going to make a quick review about section one, two, and three. Section one, what do you remember from this? What did we do on the previous, on the first uh, unit? Please call me Beth. W -H question with B, with verb to be. Okay, we used WH questions with the verb to be, right? That was the first thing that we did, right? At the very, very, very beginning. The next one, right? We had yes, no questions with the verb to be. Are you from El Salvador, right? Are you a student? 
Are you from San Salvador? Is your teacher from Canada? It's like, no, she's not, right? I was not with you in the first class, but I know that you studied this, okay? Yo sé, por ahí los anduve vigiando que si lo hicieron. In the first class. The second one, where are you from? In this one, we were using countries and nationalities, right? You were using countries and nationalities. In the next one, you use possessive adjectives, okay? In the third topic, possessive adjectives, aquí fue donde nos conocimos, ¿se acuerdan? En aquella noche lluviosa. <laughs> The presentation. <laughs> yeah, we were using possessive adjectives. <laughs> no conocimos en una noche lluviosa a las nueve de la noche. <laughs> right, and then we continue learning a little bit about how to ask questions, right? We learned how to ask questions with who, what, where, when, and how, right? We were very good at asking questions, right? It's like, who is she? Who is he? Where did you meet him? Uh, how is he? What does he do in his free time? <laughs> like the song. <laughs> y como <él. laughs> Where did he fall in love of you? Right? <laughs> the questions with who, what, when, and how, right? Uh, después se van a acordar de mí. Uh -huh. Ahí se van a acordar de mí que los hacía chistes. And the WH questions would be, right? What's your name? Who is she? Where are they from? And we covered all the very, very basic things, right? Then it was your first exam. That was very easy, just to use the WH questions. After that, we continued studying and we started working on just no questions and short answers with B right we use it how is it going fine thanks how are you right and you were talking about beth that was good then after the yes no questions you did another exam that was very easy right are you from the united states is your teacher from canada is your english class in the morning and we did the exercise in class okay nadie puede decir que los mandé los exámenes sin preparar ya lo habíamos estudiado the next one, we did also some information about names. Do you remember the date on which we studied about names, popular names of El Salvador, popular names in the United States? And you told me that Mario, Maria, Roberto were very popular names for people in El Salvador. So, así de rápido llegamos a la sección dos, right? It was like this. And then we were in section number two. What did you study in unit number two? Do you remember? Can you uh, can we bet? So we use the the question word away is okay. Aha. Uh -huh. We were talking about professions and occupations, right? We were talking about professions and occupation, and for sure, WH words, right? Where do you work? What do you do? What time do you enter? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, here we go, right? Hamburger heaven, right? I remember that one. He, she was a, a, a tour guide, right? We studied that. Then we used simple present, right? Simple present. After simple present, we started WH questions and statements. And we went over this one, right? To use do and does, questions with do and does. What do you do? Where do you work? Where do you go to school? In which cases do you use does, people? Uh -huh. In which cases do you use does? She, she, third person. In third person. Very good job, right? You use uh, does for third person. The next one. We started time expressions, right? Do you remember time expressions? 
When you say, I start work at five, early in the on morning, weekend. on weekends, exactly like that, right? Very good. I think that you were paying attention. That was very good. <laughs> Adverbs of time. And you were using also time expressions, right? We were covering time expressions with at, in, on. So you use at with at eight, at night, in, in June, in Mexico, right? In 1989, and on for on weekends on December, right? At, in, on. After that, we did a very quick review. Yeah, exactly, in the morning, right? And we finished and unit number two with schedules, right? Daily schedules. Information about the things that you do every single day. So like, well, in the morning I go to work, in the afternoon I exercise and everything. So, tan pronto lo pensamos, llegamos a unit number three, section number three. What do you remember from section number three? Uh -huh. We started demonstratives. What are the demonstratives? Uh -huh. ¿Quién me dice que eran los demonstratives? This, that, this, that, this, and those, right? Good. What else did we learn with the demonstratives? Objects that you can buy on a store, right? Objects that you can buy. And for sure, you were also discovering about different uh, materials, different uh, objects that you can buy in a store. We were using, uh, we were comparing prices. They are cheaper, they are nicer, they are more attractive, right? So with the demonstratives, these, that, these, and those, we, uh -huh, we learned also Ma the use of like material, this, made the one material, one. right? The material that the things are made of. Very good job. Do you remember the different materials that we studied? <laughs> Cotton, cotton, mm. rubber. Silk. rubber, silk, plastic, plastic, silk, leather, leather, good, gold, silk. silver, gold. excellent, cotton, cotton. Gold. very good, gold. gold, excellent, very good job, very good job. So, comparisons with adjectives. Do you remember the rules of the comparatives? What are the rules for the comparatives? Ah, you add ER to the adjective or to the noun? To the adjective. To the adjective. Very good job. You add ER to name and to uh, make up the comparative. Excellent. Let's see. The final things that we did in unit number three, we were comparing objects, right? We were comparing different objects in order to uh, show the preferences that we have, right? Which one do you prefer? Which one do you like better? Which one do you like more? And here you have the final example right? For this one. After that, I gave you vacations. You went on vacations. And we were in the middle of the, of the term. And you did different evaluations, right? Different listenings about the different topics that we had started during the, the course, right? 
We had listenings, conversations, fill in the blanks with all the previous knowledge that you have acquired. After that, we arrived to unit number four or section four. What did we do on section four? Uh -huh. Confiesa, que aprendimos en la unidad cuatro. The WH question. WH questions. Uh -huh. With what? What did you do? Uh -huh. We learned how to express preferences with do, right? Questions with do. Do you like music? Do you like rap? Do you like to watch movies? Do you like to watch TV? Do you like soap operas? Por ahí a alguien le gustan las soap operas. Por ahí oímos que las están viendo. <laughs> different types of music, right? Do you remember the different music styles that we have? Pop music, Pop, classic, music. classic. Rock. Rock and Romantic. 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 Romantic music, good, very good. Well, the soap operas, the movies, and the different things that we enjoy watching. So, these two us to the WH questions uh, with do, and also with the just no questions. Right, we did this. What kinds of music do you like? What kind of movie? What kind of, what kind of movie? <laughs> what kind of movies do you like? And what uh, different artists do you prefer? Right? We were interviewing our friends. Do you remember? Hicimos hasta entrevistas aquí at the beginning of the class. That was very beautiful. And for sure, to use it in negative, you say don't and doesn't, right? Do, does, don't, and does it. After that, we continue learning and we learn about intonation, right? We learned about intonation questions. And I told you that. Entonces escucha teacher. Sorry. No, 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 I am, I think I am, I am yes. back. Yay. <laughs> Sorry. I was having problems with the internet and then I didn't turn on my microphone. You should have told me. Teacher, the microphone. Welcome, welcome again. Okay. Thank you for thank you for your nice messages. Teacher, no la oigo. Ponga el micrófono. That's very beautiful. <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. So, andamos por ahí en tour. Let's finish it. Let's finish the tour. And uh, we were working on this one, right? Who's my date? Right? Sorry. We, they are having issues to find my my page right we were talking about linda the type of uh, of men that linda was going to date let me see here it's loading again okay give me one sec okay let me just up here okay can you listen to me yes yes perfect so we were working and we were expressing likes and dislikes right things that you like to do things that you don't like expressing likes and dislikes 
And I was right here. Who's my date, right? Linda and the three men that were inviting her to go out. Later on, we learned how to create invitations, right? Do you remember the class of the invitations? Yes. Like, would you like to go with me? Would you like to go to a restaurant with me? Would you like to go to play soccer with me? Right, that's what we learned. I would like to, but. <laughs> I would like to, but. I would like to watch the movie. Excellent. And the structure for accepting and refusing the invitations. And for sure, we learned about Cristina Aguilera, right? We were reading about Cristina Aguilera. That was the last thing that we did on this uh, section. And the final section that we covered, okay? The final section was about what, okay? We did that this week. It was a very beautiful section on which we learned to talk about family members, okay? On this section, what I liked the most was the presentation of the family tree. I really enjoyed it. So, uh, here you can see the family tree that we were using to learn. And I really enjoyed when you presented yours, right? And for sure, we also learned how to talk about uh, things that you were doing using present continuous, right? And for sure to express how big or how small your family is. We were also learning the last, the last thing that we did uh, on this module was uh, quantifiers, right? All, nearly all, most, many, a lot of, some, not many, a few, and no one. Okay, and the last exercises that we did, we did this one in mini groups, do you remember? And you were discussing the facts about yes. El Salvador. And the last activity was the one that we were mentioning today, the changing family. So, we are going to go over right now the final evaluations. And I need you to give me the answers of the, of the different exercises, just to check that you actually did it uh, already. Here, on the listening, you were listening about uh, Catherine, and you were listening about Mark and Sharon. Do you remember information about them? Yeah. Catherine has what? So. <laughs> Four seven brothers. brothers and seven brothers and sisters? Seven. Now yeah, no. She now has four, uh -huh. four brothers and three sisters. Okay, she has four brothers and three sisters. So in total, they are seven. 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 Yes. Nowadays, Mark is living with a friend. With a friend. With a friend. Sharon usually goes to the gym three times a week. Three times a week. Three times a week. Some of the men's younger brothers and sisters uh, are, are, working abroad. are working abroad. Very good job. What about the next evaluation? Uh -huh. Let's do the second one. Complete the sentences with do, does, or would. Do you, do, do you, do you like? Okay, remember that this one is an invitation, right? Would you like to see a movie tonight? Sure, what time does it start? The next one? Do you like horror movies? Do you like horror movies? Not really, you say. The next one, what kind of music? 
That's your That's friend. That's your friend. friend. That's your friend, Ricardo, right? Very good. Complete the sentences with present continuous of the verbs. How, sorry, how is your sister? Is she studying? She is studying. Is she studying these days? Very good. Is no, she good. isn't. She? She's working. She's working. She's working. 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 I'm working the store. Very good job. Is that David over there? Who? Is he waiting? Is he Who waiting? is he waiting for? Wait. His girlfriend, Maggie. She? She's coming. She's coming. She's coming on the bus. She's coming on the bus. Very good job. I can see that you did your exercises already. And the next one, you have multiple choice. Jay does yoga. 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 How often do you go, go. go swimming? Go. Very good. I sometimes play baseball. baseball. Baseball, right? Play baseball because aerobic and inline skating cannot be with play. They you say do. And yes. the next ones, let's go with the next one. Hey, kids, you did your job. Kids, well, students, you did your job. That's really awesome. And the reading about an every tattoo, right? She's in place. She's late. She acts in plays, right? In place. Many Americans like the movie. Emily. 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 Good. Very good. Audrey acts in three movies in 2003. 2003. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> what about this one? In her movies, Audrey French. usually speaks French. 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 French, right? French. Okay. Qu'est-ce qu'est-ce que tu parles français? They say. <laughs> oui, oui, je parle français. Ah. Oui, oui. Oui, oui. Comment comment tu t'appelles? C'est je m'appelle Nathalie. Et toi? Ah, so that, that would be that would be that would be the next curse, right? That would be yeah. the, that would be the next uh -huh. curse. That would be the French curse. So it's like como como tu te apelas? Like como te llamas? Right. That's that's the only thing that I remember. Don't ask me for more. <laughs> so I have a there. question. Go ahead. Uh, how do you say polyglota? Uh a polyglot. Polyglot. Polyglot? Yes, a polyglot. Okay, thank you. Yes, I would love to become a polyglot. Yeah, when, when you can speak more than five languages, that would be amazing. Well, here in El Salvador, we only speak a uh, Salvadorian, a uh, good Salvadorian, formal Salvadorian, and a crazy Salvadorian with family and friends. En caliche. En caliche, right? And we use uh, San Salvador's in, uh, Spanish, uh, San Miguel's Spanish, and Santa Ana's Spanish. And they are three different things. Pues he? <laughs> okay. So, new words or new vocabulary that you found on the reading? Uh -huh. For me, it's new. When it says 90, 80s and 99s, Andrew adds in place. Okay, so, 1980s and 99s. 1980s and 1990s. Ah, okay, sorry. 1980s and 1990s. Yes. When it says Andrew adds in place, uh, uh -huh. I think the meaning place is como los juegos. Obras de teatro. Well, no. yes, in this case, yes, it is horas de teatro, uh -huh. but you can get confused because play means jugar, right? But you say like, she acts in plays and you say like, hey, but what is that, right? But the plays are the things that you actually can go and see at the theater, right? If you have Romeo and Juliet, for example, that's a play and you can go and see it. Ah, uh, okay, it's a new meaning that 
the Excellent. word play for me. Excellent. And on the contrary of the movies, the place you see the movie, you see the play, and you watch the movie. Okay, ah. so that, that's the difference. Be because the play is in real watch life. Watch the play. Well, you can do it if it is recorded. Si ya la vio ah. grabada, si ya la vio grabada, ya no la vio en vivo. Ahí si decimos, I am yeah. watching a play. Mm. And if you okay. are in the theater, you say, I am here and I am seeing that. Okay. And you cannot confuse, for example, you say like, I am watching a game. A game, it's a soccer game, a basketball game, etc., etc. Right? And if you say, I am watching a play, it means that you are watching Romeo and Juliet. Okay. Thank you. Excellent. Any other question about the reading that it's new for you that you don't know? Newcomer. A newcomer, right? A newcomer, it's the when you are a newborn star. For example, the the if no one knew about you, right? Nadie lo conocía antes, pero ahora todo mundo lo conoce. Imagínense que Ciro se nos hiciera TikToker de la noche a la mañana. Y mañana ha sido famoso, right? In all TikTok. So, Dancing. Imagine. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> well, <laughs> we, we never know. But he will be a newcomer on that social media, right? He will be a newcomer. It's like, hey, ya vieron al, al, al nuevo famoso de TikTok. It's like, hey, that's my student, I'm going to say. <laughs> right? That's a newcomer, right? A, a new start and I think all the other words on the reading are very common when you say um, let me see mm. no I think most of them are common right other the two it's a young French artist actress sorry she has fans around the world here are some interesting things about others life and career 1978, Audrey is born in Vermont, France. 1980s and 1990s, right? Cuando tengan una fecha, siempre la dividen en dos. 1990, 1970s. Audrey acts in plays, especially comedies. Um, in high school, after that, she goes to the acting school. She wins the prize Best Newcomer for her acting on French TV in 1999. In 2000-2002, Audrey acts in many movies, including um, Vosges Vogel in 2000. Then she plays young men, the young man called Amelie in a movie of the same name, Amelie, in 2001. Uh, for sure, the movie is in French. But the film, it's a big international hit. Audrey becomes popular in many countries, including the United States. Audrey also acts in a film called Good is, uh, sorry, God is Great. I am not. God is Great. I am not. In 2002. In 2003, Audrey has a big year. She acts in the Spanish apartment and he loves me, he loves me not. She also acts in Dirty Pretty Things. This is the first time she speaks English in a movie. Okay, so we are going to create one exactly like this with your information. 1984, teacher Nati was born. <laughs> okay, it was September 15, 1984. So this was basically the, uh, the way through the different things on the platform. And on this one, you should have your certificates ready, okay? Después de esto, 20 en el certificado. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this was the journey of all the different things we did on the platform, right? This was the journey of all the different sections that we covered. And for sure, tomorrow it's going to be the top point of all this module with your mini presentation. On this mini presentation, you are going to uh, close this chapter, okay? Vamos a cerrar este capítulo. 
with everything that you want to mention, everything that you want to uh, express, that you enjoyed, that you learned. And if you want to make some specific comments, you can do it. Uh, what was the most difficult part of everything? And for sure, you can express different likes or dislikes about the module. Something very important to remember, uh, mention the expectations that you have for the next one, okay? Do you want to graduate in this program, yes or no? Yes. Yeah? Yes. For sure, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, I, I want to give you the certificate and to say like, yes, this was my student <laughs> to give you the, the no, advance, you. the advanced certificate there in real life graduation. That would be fantastic, oh. right? I, I really, I am really looking forward to do that. So that is going to be uh, tomorrow. How much time do you have? Around two minutes each, ¿ok? Van a tener alrededor de dos minutos okay. cada uno para presentar. Do you have any questions for tomorrow? Teacher. Yes. Tomorrow is the final class. Yes. I'm crying. <laughs> oh. It is, it is yes. complicated. It is complicated. Yes. Este, este rompimiento es complicado. <risa> yes. Yes. Ajá. Teacher, eh, vamos a hacer presentación así en diapositiva o solo se va a leer así nomás. No, you are not going to read anything. No vas a leer nada. Lo vas a expresar. You are going to express everything. Aquí nada leído, nada de papelito, nada de nada. <laughs> no, no, the idea, the idea is that you prepare, that you prepare a little speech, right? Just summarizing everything, summarizing your experience in this module and all the different learning that we have together, right? And for sure, your experience. How was your experience in, in this module? How did you feel at the beginning, right? How, how did you feel? What is the change that you have seen? I can mention, for example, the change that I have seen. At the beginning, when we started the module, you had difficulties to read, okay? Le daba como miedito leer. Y así como, eh, 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 medio pausadito ahí. And everything. And now, and now when you read, you are a little bit more confident. You are, you are a little bit more fluent at the moment of reading. Okay, so those are the changes that I have spotted on you. And also when you speak, when you speak, you sound more confident. You don't get too much of hesitation, right? Okay, at the moment of speaking, you don't doubt that much. Okay, ya no dudan tanto al momento de expresarse. Ya no se me quedan calladitos, ni se me quedan así como, hmm. Maybe I don't know, right? I don't remember how to say it. So those are the different changes that I can mention. And for sure, you are going to include your own uh, changes. But that is going to be in tomorrow's class. So we need to prepare for tomorrow. We need to prepare for the mini presentation. This is not going to be like, hey, si presento, me va, me va a aplazar. No, 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 no. Okay? It's like, y si no paso el examen oral, me van a... No, nothing. It is just to close the, the chapter, okay? Así vamos a cerrar nuestro capítulo de vida juntos. Okay? Don't cry. <laughs> it is just... <laughs> it's like, no estoy triste. Se me metió un... Lo puedo extrañar en el ojo. <laughs> okay, no, I am kidding. Uh, I know, I know, and this is the best part of everything, when students continue developing their abilities. I really feel proud of all the things that you have done, and for sure, tomorrow it's going to be the top, the top moment for us to see how much you have advanced. Be uh, sure about the moment of participating. Please practice as much as possible. Practice, William, come on, he's crying. <laughs> Practice your speech as much as possible. So I am going to be calling one by one. It is going to be 
in the order that you want, ok? It is going to be in the, in the order that you want, ok? Si quieren ser el primero, pues it's ok. So you raise your hand and say, teacher, I want to be the first one. Teacher, I want to present first. And for sure you can do it. It is not necessary that you create a PowerPoint. If you want to do it, that's perfect, right? But it's not an obligation, right? It is just for us to finish. And tell me the experience using the platform as well, okay? If you had any difficulties, any frustration, anything, you can share it there. Okay, this is your moment for you to express, for you to open your heart. And it is going to be beneficial for us as well to continue uh, improving, okay? So that is going to be for tomorrow. That is all Thank for you. tonight. Have a beautiful night, rest a lot, and I am going to see you in tomorrow's class, okay? Thank you, William, for your crying emoticons. <laughs> thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you very much, my thank dear you. students. I am going to see you tomorrow for our final class. For sure, it's not going to be the last one. I know we are going to have many more. Okay. Esto no es un adiós, sino que hasta pronto. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. So, uh, everybody finish back. everything, right? De aquí todos terminamos ya todo. Nadie me debe nada. Okay. ¿Verdad? Sí, ¿no? Yes. Yes. Done. Yes. Yes. Okay. It's done. Yes. Okay. Finish. En, en mm. buen salvadoreño estamos. The lesson. Okay. Estamos done. Ready. Okay. We are chelis. <laughs> We are chelis. Okay. Hey, come on. <laughs> Have a beautiful night, kids. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Have a great night. Bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Take care. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Bye bye. Finish working and get ready for tomorrow. Okay. See you. Take care.